Hi, I'm Joe Beretta. And again, I'm Elliot Morgan. I am not a big fan of flying, mostly because you're usually like pretty high up in the air and that's frightening. And if you're going from like London to New York or New York to London, you're on a plane for like 16 hours or something. And that's just not good because you're all squished up next to some dude. But thankfully, the US military has just conducted an unmanned test flight of its fancy new hypersonic Wave Rider aircraft, which is designed to move at six times the speed of sound using technology that will bridge the gap between planes and rocket ships. A B-52 bomber launched the remotely monitored, nearly wingless experimental aircraft, officially known as the X-51A, between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. yesterday from a naval air station in California. The test was brief, but over the Pacific Ocean. The Wave Rider, which is called that because it stays airborne in part with lift generated by the shock waves of its own flight. It's designed to reach speeds of Mach 6 or above. That's fast enough to rocket from New York to London in less than an hour. But unfortunately not fast enough to beat the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. You see what I did there, Elliot? I'm a nerd. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Pratt and Whitney Rocketdyne designed the X-51A's scramjet engine, which uses the forward motion of the craft to compress air for fuel combustion, according to a description of the project from the military. John Harry, spokesman for the 412th Test Wing at Edwards Air Force Base, said of the craft, the X-51A is not retrievable. In other words, once you fly it, it's gonna end up in the ocean. In response to the test version, of course. That would be silly if the eventually commercial version wasn't retrievable. Who would write it? That would be so silly. <laughs> totally. The eventual plan is to use this technology to build a commercial plane, but right off the bat, the military is hoping to utilize the hypersonic tech to develop <gasps> faster missiles. Like ones that can reach a target anywhere in the world in about an hour. You hear that, folks? In the time it takes you to get your glasses at LensCrafters, you could also be dead. Joe, that's ridiculous. I've never gotten my glasses from LensCrafters in an hour, okay? It's always been like an hour 10, an hour 15. Uh, what I'm saying what? is I hate lens... What? Excuse I... us, our producer is talking. It, what? No. Do we really? have to, can we just say it, it worked? That bad? Oh, no, the curiosity's on Mars. This is supposed to work. We'll really like the curiosity thing because mm. it's good stuff. You feel well, good, right? You want us to tell them that? We're going to spin it. Okay, anyway, guys. it worked. Uh, I can't say that? Oh, Come on. Let's just tell them. Oh. Update. Right after the launch, before it could reach top speeds, Pentagon officials report the hypersonic aircraft spiraled out of control and epically failed. It was supposed to fly for 300 seconds. It flew for 16 seconds. And then it just crapped out. Apparently, a cruiser control fin lost control and the X-51 just went blah, blah, blah. This was the third of four Wave Riders. The first flight in 2010 malfunctioned after 143 seconds of flight at top speeds of 3,500 miles per hour. And the second flight in 2011 pooped out early, but a little bit of the data was collected, so there's that. These are going well. They really are. They got one left, so go big or go home. Right, Elliot? Shut up. Reach for the stars. Everything sucks. Jump like you're trying. I don't even, I can't, what, there's, no, there's no point to anything. There's gonna be 16 hours from New York to LA forever and ever. I'm never gonna get a go. The Air Force plans to go public with all the results from the failed flight in a few weeks. So we'll know everything then. We won't know anything. Oh my god. So we got possible hypersonic jets, bullet trains, all this kind of stuff. Where do you guys see the future of travel going? Let us know in the comments down below. And like, subscribe, hit this annotation. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. We will see you tomorrow. Double salute. So fast.